Welcome back to the Back 44 Wood Channel. We are back in the wood yard. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. Just wanted to quick say thank you to everyone who uh, was on the one year anniversary live stream on Friday night. Yeah, we are in year two. This video will be posted after year two officially begins. Um, but I've got, you know, I was hoping now that July is behind us I was hoping for maybe a break in the weather and some of this heat but that's not happening and I've got a thousand things going on in the wood yard I got wood to get in wood to take out suddenly it's like uh, the other night I had people actually buying bundles at like 9 30 10 o'clock at night so wood is starting to move again from the roadside stand I tell you July was slow but um so I've got a big area over here this is where i had all that that basswood i've been cleaning this up i got my oak back there that i've been working on cleaning up um i'm running out of room to stack it so the one thing is when it comes to stacking the sky is the limit you can always go higher so i might be doing some of that but i did actually start a little area right over here um, where i'm starting to store some of this uh stack some of this stuff I'm going to be splitting, but I've got that tree service wood up in the front. I've bucked some of that up, so I got to get that wood to the yard, and I've got some other wood I need to get back here to the yard. A different kind of wood, not firewood, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. And let me tell you, there's a lot more of it to bring back here than I was thinking there would be. So let's get at it once again. Thanks everybody for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're in year two. Who knows what's going to happen? This YouTube channel has been a crazy wild adventure, but I'm glad I'm on it and I'm glad you're on it with me. No rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running just want to give a big shout out and a big thanks again to Logox for this right here, the holster. Oh, that makes it handy. Let me tell you, this thing right here, that's the ticket. Before I used to just toss the Logox down on the ground and then I'd be breaching down to pick that up. And the whole point of this tool is to save your back from bending over picking things up so having it right there at your side that is awesome so thanks again Logox and thanks again GP GP Outdoors thank you my friend for uh, getting that getting those wheels in motion here is the other wood that I have to get back to the wood yard last weekend I told my brother-in-law who owns the trucking company I sent him a message and I said, hey, do you have any pallets? And uh, he said, yeah. So they were coming up to uh, visit for the afternoon last weekend. 
And I said, well, if you could throw a couple in your truck, that'd be cool. I just need, you know, I wanted to start making another spot to stack wood. So I figured I'd maybe, you know, five or six. Well, instead he shows up with his enclosed trailer full of pallets. So what I'm thinking is I should be able to hopefully slide that carry, those carry-all frame, the forks, underneath here. And I'm going to try to pick up a stack of 11. We're going to see how that goes. of these and the way I tossed this stack down here I probably shouldn't have put it on it's kind of at a at a pretty uh, steep angle there and I can't get underneath it with my uh, forks from the carry-off frame so I had those other four I loaded those up manually and now I'm just gonna have to slide this stack over on top of this one just load this one by hand and then that last one down there, I'm gonna have to actually spin again and get under it the other way. So that might be another challenge.
Well, we've got a nice pile of rounds built up in front of the splitter, and we've got the wood yard looking like a warehouse. <laughs> got a stack, three stacks of pallets over there, and then I put another one right here, just temporarily, because I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting those, but I did put um, those last four. I dropped those off here because I'm going to be adding on to that row one, and then I'm going to be putting three in another row behind it when I get all those logs back there cleaned up like I said there's just a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on in the wood yard here and also my uh, tree service buddy Rick from my uh, trees to treasures he is going to be bringing me he said he's got a great big hackberry tree and I've never had any hackberry in the wood yard and so I got to get the rest of that wood from up front cleared out to make room for him to drop that off oh so jeez I almost forgot what I want to show you guys with these pallets I know a lot of people who deal with pallets um the tops only have this one by material on the tops so they do end up breaking and rotting through after you know a year or two but with these with the heavy duty tops two by sixes on the top if this top starts to rot out my thought line of thought is at that point i'll just put another one of these pallets right on the top and then it will be off the ground and you know it'll take a long time for one of these to rot away underneath another one like i said with that two by six on the top takes a lot to break through those when uh if they do get a little rotten you know from use and being out in the weather those two by sixes it's pretty hard to break through with like stepping on top of them so we got the wood brought back to the wood yard. We got the rounds right here, ready to split. And then we got the pallets for the splits to get stacked on. Khaleesi, the old Coyote 2610 there, she was getting put to work today. Wood in the front and wood in the back. But I figured since I'm gonna be making trips up there to pick up either the rounds or to pick up the pallets, I may as well make the trip worth it and bring wood back on the front and wood back on the back. So that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool. <sighs> yeah. Cut some up, or I think I'm, I don't know. Um, I forget what it is exactly. I think it's like. Um, <sighs> All right. Thank you.